Hi, for this video what we are going to do is we're going to find the expected values using the TI Inspire graphing calculator. The expected value is simply another name for the mean of a probability distribution. So what we would do is we would take um, the formulas found by doing the sum of each of the individual probabilities times the probability of x. So you can do hand calculations with this, but it does take a little bit longer. So what we're going to do is use the TI Inspire to help us out. Um, for this problem, what we have is we have raffle tickets are being sold for $5 each. Four prizes are being awarded. Um, they are in the amounts 1,500, 200, and 100. We are going to find the expected value of the gains for this raffle if 2,000 tickets are being sold. I already have a probability distribution set up for you, um, but the way that, just so that you guys kind of understand where some of these numbers came from, um, first, the $1,000 is the prize. Well, we paid $5 to get that. So we gained $995. So since we're talking about the gains, we're looking at how much extra money we actually walked away with. So even though we won 1000 we paid $5 to play it, so we're really only walking away with $995. Um, the negative 5 comes from the fact that we paid $5 to play, and so this would represent somebody that did not win anything. So the five values that are possible for this are 995, 495, 195, 95, or negative 5. The probabilities came from the likelihood of it happening. Since there are 2,000 tickets that are sold, only one person will win the 1,000. So that's where the 1 in 2,000 came from. The 1996 came from the fact that since there are four prizes awarded, only four people are going to win. And that means that 1,996 people are not going to win. So that's where this probability came from. So in our graphing calculator, what we're going to do is you can start from the home screen. Um, you can start with a new document. I already have a new document started, so I'm just going to select the spreadsheet. And then you would set up your variables. I'm just going to call the first one x, and I'm going to call the second one the p of x, so for the probability of x. We would just simply put our values into here. So I would start with my gains, the 995, 495, 195, 95, and then the negative 5. In the second column, we would put the corresponding probability. So you do want to make sure that they line up. So I would just do 1 divided by 2,000. This calculator will leave it as 1 over 2,000 um, unless you change your settings to have an approximate answer so it will keep it as the fraction so you can see what you entered in and in the last one for the negative 5 we would put in the 1996 divided by 2000 okay as always check to make sure that you put in everything correctly so we just want to make sure that everything looks good um, the 1996 notice that it was reduced to 499 out of 500 because of the fact that um, it can be reduced and this will always reduce your values for you um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to control I and add a calculator screen just because I like to work in here better you have two options for this one option one is that you can actually type in the sum and type in the formula where we use our variable x. So we would start with x and then do times and then choose our variable, the probability of x. So it can actually just, you can type it in as a sum. Again, it gives it to us as a fraction. So if we want it as a decimal, we would just hit control the negative for the answer and control enter to get that value. So we get the negative 410 as I did in other videos. There is another way of doing this. So if, let me go ahead and write our findings down. So remember the expected value of x is the sum of x times the probability of x, which is what I just typed into the calculator and it gave me negative 4.10. So this is one way of doing it. The other way that you can do it is you can click the menu and this is more time consuming. So it's easier just to actually type in the formula. Um, menu, go down to statistics, stat calculations, one var stats. Um, we're using one list. Like I said, this is more time consuming. For our X list, we would use X. For our frequency list, we would arrow over 
and we would use the probability of x. So this is much more time consuming, and then you would have to scroll up to where you see that the x bar is negative 4.10. But this way you can at least see that this is accurate and that it is finding the weighted mean. So either way you get the negative 4.10. You do have to remember the graphing calculator does give it to you as x bar. You have to remember which notation that you are using. Um, so if we wrote this as a sentence, we could say that the expected gains are negative four dollars and ten cents so you can either call it an expected gain or you could also um, say that we really have an expected loss so on average most people will lose four dollars and ten cents as always thank you for watching